Here's Mauricio Dubon, 300 plate appearances at the All-Star break, by far the most in his career in one season. And he still has 71 games to go. Last year, he set the mark at 200. Dubon hits one slowly towards third. Luis Renjipo will glove to his left and make the play. And we're underway with a ground out to third. Doesn't like that call on the pitch off the plate. Bregman gets called out for the first strikeout for Otani. And sends that one in the right center field. That'll be down for a hit. So Kyle Tucker starts his second half after the All-Star appearance with a base hit to right center for the Astros. And the other way, Abreu has a two-strike hit on a 1-2 pitch. Just muscled one into right field. And the Astros have a little two-out rally going. Swings at that at that sweeper used to be called a slider. Two strikeouts in the inning for Otani. Two hits for the Astros and two left on. Show against J.P. France. Zach Neto back in there. Neto just coming off the IL today. Shohei Otani bat second. Taylor Ward in the three spot is six. Then three righties rounding out the Angels lineup. Hunter Renfro, Chad Wallach, and Michael Stefano. There's a play by Chad McCormick on a liner off the bat of Zach Neto. To face Framber Valdez in another start where he goes out and possibly takes the L. Just locks that one in the left field, getting jammed. But I think it's interesting because JP does have such good numbers on the road. If you can set it up and steal a win right here, it sets up great for the rest of the series. Pitchers benefiting from the expanded zone. Now he's swinging third strike as Ward goes down. So JP France picks up his first strikeout. That's the second out of the inning. Gets that one off the end of the bat. Tough play for Dubon. Tries the backhand, the throw, and only had beat it. That was a tough play. Dubon had a long way to go and couldn't quite make the play cleanly. And Moniak reaches. Ground ball. This should be easy for Dubon. Last time he had a challenging play. This one a little underhand toss for the final out of the inning. Madris broke in last year with the Pirates. Swings to the first pitch from Otani and sends a, pit, and sends a high fly ball. Pretty well hit. Deep to right center, all the way back to the wall is Mickey Moniak. That ball really carried. There are 12 games over 500. That's a nice pitch. Gets the call on the inside corner at the bottom of the zone. Jolks frozen for the second out and the third strikeout for Otani. Including 0 2 this year with a 4 8 5 ERA. Pena gets under this 2 1 pitch and skies one in the left field. Taylor Ward moves to his left and puts it away for the final out of the second. A little quick pitch from France. It doesn't work out. Moustakis on a 1-2 pitch. Sends it right back through the middle. And the Angels have their third hit of the game. Hunter Renfro bats. Taps one towards the middle of the diamond. Pena can't make the play. Could have been a double play. He wasn't sure if Dubon was going to cover or if he was going to take the play himself. Probably sacrifice there. He's around the bunt again. This time he gets the bunt down. France looks at third, will make the play to first. Gets Wallach there, but the catcher successfully sacrifices the runners into scoring position. Field coming in here with an 0-2 kick. And it doesn't matter as he singles into center field. One run's going to score. So now he's got two career Major League RBIs on an 0-2 pitch. Stefanik singles into center. Off the end of the bat, going to stay fair. France will underhand it. They get the out on Neto, but a run scores. It's now 2-0 Angels. In to scores, Hunter Renfro with the second run. And now the Astros take it over the American League lead in unearned runs. As Shohei lines one to left, and that'll hang up for Corey Jolts. Hit it too hard. Here He was voted on for both roles. Maldonado goes down on strikes. That's four strikeouts for Otani, first time through the lineup. He has been the most talked about baseball player by far. In the last week or two, this ball grounded the short. Zach Neto makes the play. Dubon retired for the second half. Searcher. 2-2 pitch to Bregman, who goes down on strikes here. Otani striking out. Maldonado to start the inning and Bregman to end the inning. He has retired seven in a row. Three spot in the Angels lineup with no Mike Trout. And today, Anthony Rendon going on the eye. Here's Alex Bregman on a couple of hops, making the play on board for the first out of the third inning. The Astros. My goodness. Since he became an angel in 2020. 
Oniak continues to hit. Three, two pitch. Base hit into right field. Moniak's two for two tonight. Passing to his other infielders. This one hit high in the air. Dubon will drift back. So does Jeremy Pena. That'll be Dubon's call. And that is the second out of the inning. A pop up off the bat of Red Hefo. Ball hit pretty well deep to left field. Corey jolts back. He's near the warning track and he puts it away on the warning track. Got that average up to 431. Looking to continue to do things here. It's going to be tough when that pitcher is throwing curveballs at your feet. Tucker is going to reach after the first pitch of the inning hits him. And now he loses a brace. That's a big break for the Astros. A 2-2 pitch called a ball that should have been strike three. Inside almost hit him again. That's ball four. Otani. Only baseball hit over 100 miles an hour tonight. This one grounds it towards third. The play is to home. They get the out there. The throw to first. Safe at first. Bases remain loaded. There is a line drive base hit into right field. One run will score. McCormick had to hold up. He'll be held at third. The Astros cut the lead in half. It's now a two to one game. RBI single for Corey Jolts. Towards second base on a hop. They're going to get the out at second. They're not going to get the double play. A run scores. It's now 2-2. Two two. RBI fielder's choice for Jeremy Pena, who put the ball in play on an 0-2 pitch. We've tried to complete the 5-2-3 double play. Maldonado grounds one to third. Luis Renjifo will double clutch and make the throw to first, and that'll do it for the Astros. But... Ball in the air to right field. Playable for Tucker. Kind of move in. Puts it away for the first out. They get a few extra fans, whether it's five to 10,000 more for a given night. There's a swinging strike to Chad Wallach, but he definitely makes an impact on the attendance on him. See here, every other one seems like it's a 17 jersey. Ground ball towards short. Could be a good inning for J.P. France. J.P. Jeremy Pena makes the play for the final out of the inning. Ground. Minnesota lost three in a row. They're still half game back of Cleveland in that division. Dubon, who had a 3-0 count. Otani bounces back to work the count full and then gets Dubon to ground out for the first out of the inning. 2017. Hey, Bregman keeps hitting Otani. That's his 11th career hit against Shohei. He's thinking about two. He's going to go for it. It's going to be close. Head first slide. The throw is off. And Alex Bregman has himself a one-out double. Chaz McCormick. There's a ball in the left center field. That'll be a hit. And the Astros have their first lead of the night. Bregman will score. Tucker to second. And he will have an RBI double. It's 3-2 Astros. We're going to walk tonight. He chops one towards third. Cut off by Red Hefo and he drops the ball. Tucker can score and he will. Red Hefo simply dropped the ball and the Astros now lead four to two. TK, you spoke about the defense previously. Four. And the Astros now with the eight have three of those eight on the season against Shohei as he strikes out Chaz here. We're going to start it tomorrow. tomorrow. Swing and a miss. That's a strikeout. Otani picks up his seventh. But the Astros score two runs in the inning. Facing the top of the order here is Zach Neto. Neto goes after the pitch on an 0-1 delivery and pops one up. Maldi doesn't see it, but it doesn't matter because Alex Bregman has it under control. And he puts it away for the first out of the fifth inning. That's why it's so much intrigue at the deadline. All three times he has hit the ball to left field. Twice he has base hits. The time he hit it the hardest, the ball stayed up and Jolts caught it for an out. There's a line drive to right. That'll be down for a hit. Otani thought about going first to third, but he holds up as Tucker gets the ball back in. Back-to-back -back hits for the Angels. Sharply hit past Abreu into right field. Otani's going to score. The throw's going to second. RBI hit for Moniak. He's three for three. And it's now a four to three. Astros lead. And he goes the other way with a pinch base hit. That's going to tie the game up at four apiece. Ren Hifo gets pinch hit for. And Eduardo Escobar comes through with an RBI pinch single. And a 
third inning. Ground ball towards the right side. Abreu will go to second for one. Pena's return throw. That's a double play. Maton comes in and gets the job done with an inning-ending double play to keep the game tied. Strike zone and going after hitters' pitches. And he lays off this one. He has drawn more walks here in the last month than we saw. Jolks did not run that time, and it doesn't matter as Pena draws a walk. So Webb comes in and walks. Shows bunt, pops the bunt up, but it's down now. And Moustakis could have had an out at third or second, but he chose to go back to the bag. That bunt was in the air, and it froze the runners and maybe froze Moustakis' decision as well. In the left field, base hit, one run scores, great read by Pena, he's going to score. Two RBI base hit with two strikes for Mauricio Dubon. Astros retake the lead, 6-4. to four. Doobie. Manager bailed underneath the desk to get out of the way. Swing and a miss, Dubon on the go, head first slide, he's going to be safe. The ball was not handled by Stefanik, Dubon has no idea the ball's in center field. And now he finally realized he runs. And 3-2 pitch, Bregman got called out on a pitch just off the plate his first time up. That one was a little closer, gets called out again. Ledger tonight is really rare for Alex. Tucker will be intentionally walked, so Kyle will be on base for a fourth consecutive time tonight. There's a line drive, pass Neto into left field. That's going to score Mauricio Dubon. Astros take a 7-4 lead. RBI single by Abreu with two outs. His specialty with runners in scoring position. Stay healthy, and now you have those other guys that have done the job without Jordan. This bodes well for the second half as Chaz lines out to left for the final out of the inning. But a big three-run inning for the Astros here in the sixth. That ball hit well to right field, sending Tucker back. He's near the wall. He will reach up and he'll make a great catch. No, he dropped it. Looks like he made the catch initially, came off his glove. And Hunter Repro is going to have a double to start the inning. Man, that's a walk. So now the tying run comes to the plate here. Bunts foul, caught by Baldonado. Throw to second out in second base. Double play. Great play. Baldy catches it in the air and gets the runner, Hunter Renfro, leaning off second for a double play on the butt attempt. Swing and a miss. Martinez gets out of the sixth inning. First and second, nobody out. Does not allow anything, and the Astros maintain their 7-4 lead. Most recently, he's been coming out of the bullpen. And Madris pokes one into right field. That's going to be his third hit as an Astro. Fly Madris with a single to lead off here in the seventh inning for Houston. Oh, leaning at first, and Madris is picked off. On a 3-2 count, Fly didn't have a huge lead, but he was going the wrong way, and Berea picked the right time to move over to first. And the Astros could have easily had runners on first and second. Jolks went after a couple of inside pitches there with a 3-2 count. He flies out to left. And Pena goes down on strikes. Berea strikes out Jeremy to end the inning. Got him. Hector Neres throws him that good splitter to strike out Shohei to start the seventh inning. That ball drilled deep into the night here in Anaheim. That is well gone. Down the left field line, Taylor Ward picked on a 1-0 pitch, hits his 10th home run of the year, and cuts into the Astros' lead. It's now 7-5. That's a two-seater running in. One of that pitch away, but you can see tailing into the swing. And Ward got a hold of it and went into launch mode. It's a fifth home run given up this season by Hecker. That's a called strike. Got him with a fastball. Obviously thinking he was going to get the splitter blummer because he didn't offer it at that 3-2 pitch. 
Swing and a miss. That splitter picks up another strikeout for Hector Neris. So he strikes out three in the inning. And Tucker right before the All-Star break. But all three guys, obviously, making huge impacts being on the injured list. This ball grounded to third. Escobar's throw in time to get Maldonado. Berea, who's back out there for a second inning of work. And based on what we saw this spring, Blummer, with Mauricio Dubon going out to that pitch, sending it to right field. So Berea has two outs on two pitches here in the eighth. We have tonight yet. Yeah. Two and two the count to Bregman. That'll be in the air to center field, and Jaime Berea has two shutout innings out of the Angels' bullpen. And keeps the score at 7-5 in the postseason. This ball hit into center field. McCormick will make a play. Last year, Abreu appeared in 55 regular season games. He is on pace to double his last time up, one for three. Also reached on an error. Now he's two for four with a single off the end of the bat into left field. And pro will be a one-out base runner. The Angels now up to 12 hits on the night. Ball four low, putting the tying runs on base. So here he is in his debut. First pitch, ground ball towards the middle. Dubon will backhand, flip to Pena, the turn, not quite in time. Angels will have runners on the corners. Cabbage goes after the first pitch he sees in the major leagues and bounces into a fielder's choice. One games has an RBI ground out. Velasquez on the move, the throw down to second. And Velasquez in with a head first slide. Maldonado throwing through, and they almost got him. Popped high in the air. Should be the end of the inning. Pena drifts out. McCormick comes in. Chaz has the play. And that will do it for the Angels in the eighth. They strand two. In the ninth inning, Astros leading 7-5. Tucker into center field, coming on is Moniak, and he'll make a running catch. Kyle Tucker retired for the first time tonight. There's another ball into center field for a base hit. Jose Abreu has a three-hit game out of the All-Star break. A big turn, and he'll retreat to first. Abreu, three hits and a walk tonight. There's a base hit on an 0-2 pitch. McCormick sends one to left. Abreu taking a wide turn. He's going to challenge the left fielder Ward, and he is safe. Jose Abreu going first to third on that base hit right in front of him. And a call third strike on the inside corner. Hensley goes down looking as a pinch hitter for the second out of the inning. Inside, that'll load him up. Corey draws his second walk of the game and continues to have a good eye lately. Fire behind the plate, loses his own a little bit. Pena goes after a 2-0 pitch and bounces it to second. Stepping on the bag is Velasquez, the new second baseman, to end the inning. Goes up top with a fastball and gets Otani leaving the zone. Big strikeout for Press out of the pen. Off the outside edge for strike two. Swing and a miss. Presley with back-to-back -back strikeouts, getting Otani and Ward swinging. And two outs now in the ninth. Swing and a miss. Ryan Presley strikes out the side. Maldonado completes the strikeout, throwing to first. Presley now in his last 11 games over 12 innings has thrown no-hit baseball. He is on a roll right now. Lately, Blummer and the Astros with a big win coming out of the break. Yeah, it's a nice way to start that second half for the Astros. You kind of feel like they stole one having Shohei Otani pitching this game. Now you just line up with your 1 2 going the next two games. Robert Valdez tomorrow, Christian Javier on Sunday, Presley. 12 consecutive hitless innings out of the pen. Saves another one for the Astros. Post game show presented by Whataburger. Kevin Eschenfelder, Mike Stan, all the highlights and analysis. Julia Morales gathering interviews on the field in the clubhouse. We'll hear from Dusty Baker and others. Post game show next.